this woman helped a sick cheetah. What happened next will shock you. We usually see big cats as quite dangerous animals who could easily harm anyone who got in their way, so there's no way that a human and a cheetah could be best friends, right? Well, that's exactly what happened in this story. Olga was an animal-loving woman who worked in a small zoo in a town in Russia. One day, the zoo received a new member, a male cheetah called Ishil. Everyone was excited to meet this big cat and see how he would react in his new home. But something strange happened when he arrived. When the animal was introduced to his new home, instead of investigating the different smells and sights, all Ishil did was lie down straight away. Things only got worse the next morning when employees noticed the cheetah hadn't moved all night. They thought he was just scared or upset at being moved to a new place. So they tried to get him to move by offering him some breakfast, but the big cat did not seem to want to eat. This immediately sent alarm bells ringing in the staff's head, and they quickly called a veterinarian to come and look at the cheetah to see if there was something wrong with him. After giving Ishil a health check, the vet told concerned employees that the cheetah was breathing at a heavier rate than normal. The vet then explained that he thought that the animal might have picked up a cold during his transportation to the zoo, which had then developed into a more severe case of pneumonia. The vet told the zoo employees that Ishil urgently needed to be given some medicine to help combat the virus. But this would not be an easy job. The big cat didn't want to eat or drink, meaning that the medicine he needed to take in order to get better wouldn't be able to get into his system. The longer that the cheetah didn't take the required medicine, the worse he became. He lost a lot of weight, his fur became dull and rough, and his eyes turned red. And if Ishil tried to stand up, he wouldn't last more than a few seconds before his legs lost their strength and gave way, causing the feline to fall to the floor. All the zoo's employees were incredibly worried about Ishil. They didn't know what to do to help make him better if he would not eat or drink. But the most worried of all was a woman called Olga. She realized that if the animal didn't get help soon, then he had the possibility of actually dying. Knowing that it was a last resort and very dangerous, Olga proposed the idea of hand-feeding Ishil to make sure that the beast actually ate the medicine it was supposed to. The zookeepers did not approve of the idea, as they felt that the risk would be too great. Wild animals are hard to predict at the best of times, but they can get increasingly agitated and more reckless if they are injured or sick. But Olga could see no other option to get the animal healthy again, so, ignoring everyone else's concerns, she took matters into her own hands. One day, when none of the keepers were around Ishil's cage, Olga snuck into the area and opened the cage door. She quietly snuck into the cage and crept closer to the big cat. Ishil didn't even twitch in the woman's direction and instead continued to lie in his spot. Once Olga was close enough to the large feline, she brought out a piece of meat that she had snuck into the cage with her. She tried to offer it to the animal, but all he did was bare his teeth at her a little, as if to tell her to go away and leave him alone. Determined not to give up until the cheetah had eaten and drank something, Olga tried dipping the meat in some water to see if it would make it more appetizing for Ishil. Amazingly, when she held the piece of food out for him again, the cheetah licked the water off of the meat. It wasn't a lot, but it was something. Then, after tasting the meat with the water, the cheetah took a little bite of the meat as well. It was the first bit of food that he had had in quite a while. After the small bite, Ishil seemed to have had enough and turned away from Olga and the meat. And whilst it had been little, it overjoyed Olga. She left the cage, closing it back up behind her and ran to the vet to get some medicine for Ishil. She had a plan of how to get the big cat to take it without him knowing it. Every time that Olga went to feed Ishil, she would add a little medicine to the meat soaked in water. Not knowing that anything different had been added to his food, the cheetah happily nibbled away at the pieces of meat that the woman would bring him. Soon enough, the medicine worked. Ishil recovered and came to his senses a bit more. He was a lot more active than he had been when he first arrived, and he seemed to be more curious about the surrounding environment. A few days later, when Olga arrived to feed him some meat, the feline got up from his spot on the floor and went to greet her. He bumped his head into her legs as if to say, thank you. Olga was astounded and happily petted the big cat on his head. As she did this, the animal purred like a kitten. From then on, Olga would happily enter Ishil's cage daily, only to be greeted each time by the loving big cat. The woman knew that Ishil and her had formed a strong bond, and that he was happily awaiting her arrival every day like a long-lost friend. As things looked up for Ishil, Olga couldn't be more pleased. She had saved the life of this amazing animal, and he was clearly more than grateful to her for doing it. But then, that's when everything took a turn for the worse. During the summer, a year after Ishil was first introduced to the small zoo, they made a decision that would break the hearts of both Olga and the cheetah. The zoo told Olga that they simply didn't have enough money to keep the big cat. They couldn't afford to house and feed him, nor give him any medicine that he might need in the future for any ailments he might get. Knowing that the animal couldn't stay with them, the zoo then revealed that they had sold Ishil to a circus. 
It wasn't long after the sale that the beautiful cheetah was taken away to his new home. On the day that he was collected, they loaded him up onto a transport cage. As if he knew he was going to be separated from his best friend, Eshel thrashed about and growled. Olga was heartbroken and couldn't hold back her tears as she watched the beautiful animal be taken away. Because the circus traveled around the country, Olga didn't know where it would be from one moment to the next. That meant she couldn't visit him. Four long years passed when the news that a circus was back in town reached Olga's ears. She heard the circus was bringing some of their animals to the zoo so that they could be filmed. She also overheard that, along with the rest of the animals, a blind cheetah was being brought in. It turned out that the animal had lost its sight two years prior after a serious illness had taken hold. Luckily, the cheetah had survived. Olga soon learned that the animal was in a nearby room. She couldn't believe her luck. Was this really Ishil? She hurried after a circus employee to the room that the big cat was being housed in. At first, when Olga entered, the cheetah paid no attention to her and carried on eating its food. But as soon as the woman asked the circus employee about the feline, the animal perked up. He stopped eating and turned toward her voice. The cheetah let out a sharp meow which caught everyone's attention. Olga was overjoyed. She ran to the cage and quickly opened it, running in to be with a friend that she thought she had lost forever. Ishil was just as happy to be reunited with her and made his way over to the woman that he cared so much about. He nudged her legs and purred into her hands. Amazingly, after four years, the cheetah still remembered his old friend. It just goes to show that kindness, care and compassion can go a long way, no matter what the species. What a beautiful story. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.